Hi, this is Dean Takahashi from VentureBeat, and I'm here um, uh, tech checking out some new kinds of tablet computers here. Uh, everybody knows about this one. This is the Apple, Apple iPad just, that just came out. Uh, but I'm here with Leo from Broadcom, and he's going to show us uh, a bunch of other tablets that are uh, here scattered on the table. Uh, how are you doing, Leo? Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Leo Svedo again from Broadcom, and uh, I'm here to talk about different tablet concepts that we've been working on for a while now. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. this, this Apple tablet's not the only show in town, I guess. There's going to no. be a lot of tablets out there. This, this is great because it brings tablet to a whole new light. Mm -hmm. But uh, what you'll be seeing is a lot of different tablets doing different functionality, mm -hmm. especially with our focus, which has been to bring services to people in their homes and things that you would interact with throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And so what are you holding in your hand here? It's so a this is our reference tablet platform. Uh -huh. um, Somehow the design is not quite uh, as good as Apple's. No, this oh, is oh, wait, this is just a reference design. Okay. <laughs> this is what we work on. Okay. <laughs> this is what you give to the engineers. The engineers right. get to play with that, and some I, get, I get to play with some this. Some of them right. may prefer yeah. this one, by the way. Okay. But in, in any case, mm -hmm. um, what I'm going to show here is that I've, we've created the ecosystem here Mm -hmm. uh, that you'd have in your home, for example, mm -hmm. uh, where you have a, a router in the middle of your house or a Wi-Fi network mm -hmm. in your house. Yeah, this so is just a regular router, router yeah. that we mm -hmm. put there just to show what you'd have in your house. It's got Broadcom chips in it, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's okay with me. Mm -hmm. um, we also have little set-top boxes on each side. Yeah. The set-top box is yeah, uh, one. one of our reference designs of our set-top boxes. One for each TV here. And yeah. uh, mm -hmm. each TV is connected to a set-top box. Mm -hmm. And then from this device, mm -hmm. I can see um, all of the different devices on the network. So mm -hmm. in this case, and here I'm you have a, a, like a Linux, uh, I guess, shell or whatever or menu here. This is a 3D mm -hmm. UI mm -hmm. running on top of a Linux. It's a simple 3D UI that's easy for people to operate. It could be an example of a UI for people. Uh -huh. um, this is showing different kinds of content that we have available on the network. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to show is, okay, as a control of the home and the entertainment content of the home, I can choose what content I have. So say, for example, this Batman. Mm -hmm. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose this Batman video. Mm -hmm. And two different TVs in the house, I'm going to choose that one over there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start streaming the video to that TV. Mm -hmm. So just as to show, the tablet can be a control for the home, a control for the entertainment in the home. There it and is. And stream the content <coughs> to the setup mm -hmm. box, who will then display it on the TV. Mm -hmm. In the same light, I mm -hmm. can now go choose a different content and say, well, in this other room, mm -hmm. I want to play this other content. On the kids' TV. Yeah. On the kids' TV, maybe mm -hmm. something for the kids. And uh, here we go. So I'll start now mm -hmm. a different movie on a different screen. Mm -hmm. um, and now that we're playing the different on the different screen, mm -hmm. uh, the other thing we want to do is be able to show you how we play. Um, and now that I have another screen, mm -hmm. why not play a different, even a third video on this particular screen? Mm -hmm. So I'm you looking at something different on the tablet here. So mm -hmm. yes, because now you have the tablet as, as a, a yet another screen in your house. So if all the TVs in your house are busy mm -hmm. watching different videos and different things in the different places in the house, I can still watch mm -hmm. a whole different content on this tablet. So the tablet's a lot like a remote control for the home. It is a remote control, and mm -hmm. it could actually be using the same remote or the same user interface that you're seeing on the TV. Mm -hmm. But now it brings it portable to you, so you can control whatever you want with a touch screen. Mm -hmm. And so this this one uh, has a seven inch screen. Uh, is seven inch screen uh, better than the nine point seven for for some reason? The the one that comes with the uh, the iPad is nine point seven inches. I guess it is. It's it's it's, mm -hmm. it's not so much which one is better. Mm -hmm. Any of the screens is really acts mm -hmm. the same way. Mm -hmm. What it really is is um, different screens allow for different sizes and different price points. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, a 10-inch, 9.7-inch screen is a mm -hmm. more expensive screen, mm -hmm. but it also makes the device bigger. Mm -hmm. So it really is a matter of how big you want your 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 experience to be or your tablet to be. Mm -hmm. And here you see again various different tablets with different size and form factors. All of them are really a choice. Mm -hmm. And uh, so. Uh, uh, here, I guess you're trying to target a low cost as well. Some some of the carriers who might adopt this, they might be giving this away for free then. Uh, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Some carriers might do it for free. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, that's really the idea, mm -hmm. that a carrier will offer that as, a, mm -hmm. as, a, as an additional service or an upgrade to an existing service that they're mm -hmm. providing you. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it brings together a plethora of other services into your house 
And for mm -hmm. them, it's great because it gives them other ways to sell you additional services. Mm -hmm. And for you, it's maybe great because it, it allows everything to work together in, in the house. Yeah, let's look, walk over to your little drawing here that uh, <laughs> sort of illustrates that. Uh, you've got the tablet in the center here. You have broadband on the top, uh, uh, phone service here, entertainment, home automation. So the tablet could really sort of be the center of all of this that we're, we're talking right, about. Right, so this is the traditional picture mm -hmm. um, that you would draw with, without the home automation piece. Mm -hmm. This is the so-called triple play in the house. You get entertainment mm -hmm. or the broadband or the communications into the house. Mm -hmm. And really what the tablet is doing is it's serving as the center of the home. Mm -hmm. It can bring all of the information content from the internet. It mm -hmm. can do the communications and act as the communications piece in the device. Uh, in the and home. you were you were saying in that you you might buy the tablet or get the tablet in the home for entertainment, but you could also upsell these people to all these different things like broadband service or that is correct uh, phone service, whatever. So as you engage your carrier mm -hmm. uh, provider, service provider, and let's say they're offering you the tablet as an upgrade to your set up box. Um, now that you have a tablet in your home, you can they can easily sell you. or broadband service and bring these other services into the home and not just for that but also the fact that they can they now have a window to you and you have a window to them you can get whatever services you want and you can configure your services based on your needs cool let's uh, check out some actual designs here before we uh, sign off um, so you've got something from ASCII here I guess uh, it's a tablet design it's all based on the same kind of reference design that's correct and then you have the uh, um, other ones here from, uh, let's see, this is NTT? Th this is a company called Moimstone. Oh, Moimstone. M-O-I-M-S-T-O-N-E. Uh -huh. They are a Korean company. They're providing uh -huh. the design to NTT in Japan. Uh -huh. um, this is LG Nortel, uh -huh. and that is a company called Gemtech. Uh -huh. Both Gemtech and ASCII are in Taiwan. Uh -huh. LG and Moimstone are in Korea. Mm -hmm. We have other partners in China and other areas of the world, mm -hmm. and um, really we have a lot of partners putting together these devices. There's quite a lot of interest with the different carriers. So uh, all using the same kind of Broadcom uh, platform, really. Uh, uh, most of the hardware is the same in, in all of these devices. Uh, you're just sort of uh, variations on a theme here. That's correct. Mm -hmm. We give customers a reference design, and it just gets customized for different looks and feel. But all the underlying technology we provide will actually make all of these things possible. Put the I iPad down there by comparison, but as you can see, the, uh, the iPad is not the only show in town here. Thank you very much, Leo. Thank you. All right.